Welcome to the eighth video of my Indoor Weather Station tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the BME280 to the Raspberry Pi. This is a sensor that measures pressure, temperature, and humidity, but I'm only going to be interested in temperature and humidity. Now, this um, breakout board with a sensor on it is from Adafruit. And if you type Adafruit BME280 um, Raspberry Pi pinout or something like that, you will get a picture like this one where it shows you how to wire it up. So let's do it just like that. So we will have a wire in VIN, one in GND for ground, and then we'll have one in SCK, which stands for clock, and SDI, which is the data line. So the clock line, maybe I'll start with that, goes in the third left pin, then the ground pin goes to the third right pin, the data line is the second left pin, and the, su the supply voltage is going to be 3.3 volt. That looks about right to me. Now lucky for us Adafruit has provided a Python library that you can find on GitHub in order to gather data from the sensor. So I showed this in one of the other tutorials. What you do is you copy this web address and then you go to your Raspberry Pi. So what I've done here is I have opened the terminal and I have opened the directory, our data log logging directory that we created. And I've also opened Thony, which you can find under the Raspberry Pi symbol, programming and Thony. And this, um, I'll, I'll use this um, editor to write the Python script later on. But first, we need to download. So we will do sudo git clone, paste in that URL, dot git, and that will clone the directory. What we then need to do is cd into it, and sudo python there should be a setup file in there, and then we'll execute the install. Okay, I think that probably worked out. Let's give it a go. So what I'm about to type here is, is a reduced version of the example file that they provided um, to fit our needs. So what we do need is to import time, and from Adafruit, BME280, we will import all the commands. <clears throat> then we'll create an object, a BME280 object. And there are some uh, arguments that we need to enter here that I don't really honestly understand what's behind them, but they were in the example file, so we'll do it. So there's a T mode, there's an H mode, and a P mode. So I suppose uh, that's temperature, humidity, and pressure, and each of those is set to BME280 O sample 8. Okay, whoops, what I was going to do was to copy this Put right here. And there. Okay. And initially, our temperature and humidity will be none and none. Then we will go through a while loop and say the temperature is going to be BME read temp. Oh, it's small actually. Temperature. And the humidity is going to be BME read humidity. Then we will simply print the temperature and humidity and sleep for one second. So just wait for one second. Okay, I will save this. Under data logging. And I'll do underscore BME280 because sometimes the, the libraries already have the name of the sensor. So just, just to distinguish that. 
Okay, now that we have that, let's see if this works. So we will go up one directory and we will say um, Python BME 280. And there we go. So it's currently 22.9 something degrees and 57% relative humidity. So if I hold my finger on the sensor, you can really see that it's heating up. Yep, there we go. And the humidity is also increasing. If I just blow on it, then you'll see that the humidity increases further. Okay, so there you go. This is gonna go on forever. So if you wanna uh, quit it, you can use control uh, C. Sometimes you have to press it several times. No, there you go. And it has gone all of that. Okay, so that was it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be um, looking into how to capture light data. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next one.